We're back, and as you just saw, animal print fashions are hot for humans this fall, but so are pet fashions for our fabulous furry friends. In fact, for the third year in a row, students at the oh so prestigious Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City have showed off their one of a kind handmade fashions in a fun runway show starring doggy models up for adoption. What a great idea. Please welcome to the show Joan Volpe, who is from FIT. She's actually the managing coordinator there. And she is here with designers Jessica Linder, who is here with her little baby, Toby. And also sitting next to me, we have Lisa uh, Barnes from LMB Design. So thank you so much. This is so exciting um, because fashion, pet fashion, is really exploding. And now, Joan, at FIT. Yes. That is true. $50 million a year business. Yes, in fact, I just checked the statistics on my way up here this morning, and um, they say the business is almost at $70 billion now. Wow. When we Crazy. started four years ago, uh, it was at 40 And I love the fact that FIT is sort of moving along with the times. You have a special program now just for this. Talk a bit about that. In my area, which is the Center for Professional Studies, we have 12 professional development certificates, and this happens to be one of them. We started it four years ago. It's a certificate that you'll graduate with. Uh, graduate that's, with. That's correct. Jessica, you were in the program. You're here with Toby. You have mm -hmm. your own business now, so talk yes. about that a little bit. I do. Um, it's called Maison de Chêne. Tour and um, well, I'm glad I didn't have to say that. It's <laughs> tricky. It's, it's pretty. Yes. Doghouse couture. It's <laughs> in French. What I'm my, I'm aiming for is uh, more of a high end. Okay. Dog fashion. So I figured, you know, put a little French in it, a little uh, fancy. Little to kick. It, little kick to and it. And the fashions are beautiful. I know Joan is holding uh, a dog, uh, yes, not a real dog, nope. uh, with one of them. So that looks like a, a this is quilted one of our coat. Doggy dress form. Well, that's <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's actually inspired by a Chanel bag. Nice, uh, so I can see the quilting. It's the Coco halter, and <laughs> it's quilted on both sides. It also is very warm, so it's functional. It has the little D yes, ring like here that. for the leash. Um, this one here has a little extra protection. I have the, um, the little quick release snaps here. So it's all about warmth and function and fashion. And looking terrific, and you have a Thank sort you. of a a faux doggy model next to you. Just yes. bring that on your lap for one second because that's a little bit more elaborate. This was actually just from show our, um, our, fa our FIT fashion okay. show. This was one stunning. of the yes, uh, this is beautiful the pieces with the that feathers. I made for the show. And it just shows the diversity because the, the vest and the two vests and the coat uh, seem to be a little bit more every day, but this is something you can dress up your baby in and, and right. it really right. is uh, made beautifully as well. Because going to FIT, you have the skills to also, of course, uh, do human clothes and then I guess that would you know translate into the doggy clothes. And feathers are big. Uh, feathers are big. This fall, yeah. so That's you right. have it for the dog yeah. as well as you. Uh, <laughs> and now, Lisa, you're a little different in that you're more of a knitwear. I uh, design. Uh, um, handmade alpaca dog sweaters and the line is called turtlebacks uh, because all of my designs are inspired by nature so this is the original turtleback design and the back of it looks a little bit like a turtle shell and on this one we have a birch branch tree going down the back of it. This is fantastic and it's so soft I know the alpaca uh, very soft fur and very warm. is even softer than uh, cashmere right. uh, and then you have two next to you as well. I do. This is a, the Sedona sweater coat love which is that. inspired by the colors of oh, Sedona yes, Arizona of which course. I love. And then the peacock sweater dress here. And these are both new for fall. Uh, I launched my business in August of 2010. I did switch careers. I went back to school at FIT after 25 years of the performing arts, working in off-Broadway and music and theater and dance, and worked my way up and just decided I loved knitting and decided to kind of give this a go. I and I'm having a, a lot of fun. Idea. And you also uh, knit for people, too, so you could sort of I have a do. matching sort I of... I do, and I do have some matching accessories. So if someone wants to walk their dog and look as fashionable and match their pup, they can do that, too. And winter's on the move. Yep. It's coming fast. These these are just two examples. Uh, Judy, where can people find you? I think this is a great program and wonderful for animal lovers, really something different. Thank you. We can be found at www.fitmyc.edu backslash professional studies. Jessica, where can folks get in touch with you and Toby? Uh, my website is uh, Maison de Chien Couture, so it's prettysimple.com. And you'll make different sizes as absolutely, well, I understand. Absolutely. And Lisa, you too? lmbdesigns.com and I have both my people wear and my pet wear. Fantastic. Well, we thank you everybody for being on the show. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much and you too, Toby. We'll be right back.